Holy hell, I need some wood. Where, oh, there we go, some trees. This tree looks good enough for me. Alright, what just happened? What? No. No! No! This can't be! Bully! Sarah from 190, welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to show you how that was done. It was very funny, and it, it's great for trolling. Very cool for trolling, especially trolling, guys. So what you need is very simple materials. You need one redstone block, two red, maybe two or one redstone piece. It's up to you. You don't really need two. Um, six hoppers. Okay, three comparators, one repeater, three pistons, and about three obsidian pieces not four probably three actually so let's start by digging two deep and having one piston facing up this is a regular piston and break about five blocks back so you can have another piston facing towards it like this the idea is to keep a rotation going with blocks made out of wood so that the tree can grow so I'm gonna put a bit of obsidian here to stop the path of that tree it will make more sense the further we go. So we're going to put another piston facing this way and put another obsidian block right here. Okay, this will stop it from coming from that way. It's going to make sense. So the tree will be planted around about there in the middle. So we're going to put our blocks across facing up and like this facing up. You can actually make this longer if you wish, but this is exactly how long I want this to be. Just look at it. It's very simple. So this is where the tree is going to come up, and I'm going to put a block of obsidian on the top. This is going to be my fake tree. For now. I might actually use a real tree later. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, behind here, you want to make four blocks apart from the piston so that you can make room for your repetitor. So I'm going to have two hoppers attached inside of each other so that I can drop one item in and have that comparator react constantly. So therefore you'll have your piston reacting constantly until it can't push any further. So let's block it up and more because we have obsidian that should stop it from going. But on the very last one you want to put a bit of redstone. So when the tree is cut it will activate, the redstone will turn that on. So that's what the redstone's for. So that redstone can lead into TNT. It's very simple. So the bottom piston facing up will be attached to this timer here with these two hoppers attached inside of each other like last time. But this time you want to leave two blocks space in front of it so you can have your comparator and we're going to need a repeater. The reason why is because we have to change the timing of this bottom one. If the timing's not changed perfectly, it won't work. Okay, so throw something into that hopper as well, like I've just done, and you'll see that it will push the block up to the obsidian. So now we want to do the same with this last one here. So break some blocks back, three, and two hoppers attached onto each other, and a comparative facing out. So crouch place and whack it in, and the comparative. And put an item in, and now that's self-activating. And they're all going to be self-activating. Wackadoo! I think we're doing really well. So let's just continue on and put as many blocks as you can inside and it will stop. Now we have to change the timing because you can see this piston isn't accepting the next block to come across because it's too fast. So slow it down. Actually put it on one tick. And when I break the wood here it will fully activate working like a charm. You can break it twice, and in the first break, that redstone block will move. And by the second break, the pistons have already exploded, so that's pretty cool. So let's uh, fill it up again, let's re reset it. Oops, we need, we need an obsidian block right here, guys, so that doesn't get pushed out. So there's your third obsidian block. 
Okay, now it won't go any further, so yeah, let's whack that one in there, and we're pretty much done. Yep, it still works. Okay, let's... <laughs> it works twice. Okay, so you can make it work more than twice, but I think twice is enough. You can have it work until the whole tree's gone, but it's too long for me. So I'm going to put that on the last block, and have the redstone out of that so that when it moves, it will activate all of this TNT I've placed underneath. I'm going to get rid of the fake tree, and I'm going to plant a real tree. wood under there and then restack it up and don't forget to put an obsidian block on the top of the tree so that the wood doesn't grow past the leaves okay let's fill that up Oops. Oops, again this is insane I love this build as you can see that redstone's coming out like so so when the redstone block moves all this TNT here will explode and then you've patched it up like this with grass blocks and you're done so let's test it out real quick. We'll get a pickaxe out and we'll put it in survival and let's do it. So you see a tree. It looks just like the other trees. Nothing nothing strange about the tree. And you come up and you innocently break this. And f -f 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 what was that? Faction! Yeah! No! Sheriff! Ow! Why would you do this to me? Okay, there you go. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow, and that really helps me grow the channel. Get it? Wow, guys, check out the hole it left. That's no joke. I put way overkill, way too much TNT. But as you can see, that is freaking epic. See you guys tomorrow.